Vineland Premium Outlets lunch at a Mr. Cookhouse at Sapphire Falls at Universal Resort Orlando, then to Magic Kingdom for enchantment. Come along with us for day number 10. Welcome your Royal Highnesses, I'm Dan and you're watching Walt Disney World Adults Only and you are joining us here on day 10 in the lobby of Jumbo House at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and we are both still feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, I feel fine but I've lost my voice um, as you can hear so hopefully you'll be able to hear me today. Uh, if not I'll put some subtitles on the screen, uh, that will probably, probably be preferable to listening to me anyway. You'd prefer subtitles, wouldn't you? Sometimes. <laughs> um, so we have just come down to the lobby. We're gonna call an Uber, whiz across to Premium, no, to, is it called Premium? To Vineland Premium Outlets, I think it's called. We've never been there before. Gonna have a little look around, pop into the character warehouse, see what we get there. Then we're gonna head across to Universal. We should be at the Universal Parks today, but opted not to go after our after our experience there on Monday. We're meeting Karen and Patrick from Universal Orlando Adults Only for lunch at a Mr. Cookhouse, which is at the Sapphire Falls restaurant. So that'll be really nice to go and try out a Universal hotel. Never done that either. And then tonight, as we're not going to Universal now, we're gonna to go to Magic Kingdom tonight. We're gonna to watch Enchantment for the first time. It is extra magic hours for, or evening extended hours as it's called now, um, for deluxe resort guests. We may stay a little bit later for that tonight. Day number 10, how are you feeling? Good, still a bit hazy, but it'll be nice today to do a little bit of wandering and shopping. shopping. You love a bit of shopping, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go and call our Uber now and uh, we'll see you when we get to my night. So we're at Vineland Premium Outlet. To get from Animal Kingdom Lodge to here it was 12 bucks. So far we've been in about six or seven shops haven't we? Yeah. And really we're not finding anything here to be particularly a good buy. It's the same sort of price you should get at home in London at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe we're too picky, I don't know. Yeah, like, we were told, come here, come here, like, you get, like, Robert work. Um, and my mum was said, oh, get down there, you know, you get really, really great discounts and buys. But we're not finding that at all, are we? We're finding nice, we're finding nice stuff, but you can get the stuff at home. And for exactly the same price. price. Yeah. So, so far, we've bought nothing, but we are continuing our mission. Wait till I find an Abercrombie and Fitness shop though, that might all change. Are you going to buy those <laughs> trainers you found earlier? I don't know. I'm... Maybe, but I mean, I wasn't nuts about them. They might yeah. be okay for travelling to and from working. Yeah, so, so far, no luck. But we're not, we're not big we're not shoppers, are we? We're not big shoppers anyway. Well, I am. You're you, not. you did used to be, but not really nuts so much now. Yeah. Okay, so David has made his first purchase. What did you buy? A aftershave. And what one did you get? One from Dubai, isn't it? Yeah. Toba tobacco and cognac one. It's nice though. It's an oil based one, isn't it? Yeah. It smells really it's nice. Nice and strong. But other than that, we've not really found too much here, have we? Personally, I'm quite disappointed with buying land. I don't think I'd bother coming back here. The character warehouse, particularly was just rubbish. It was really bad, wasn't it? Really bad. Like, literally, it was just full of junk that you wouldn't want, and yeah, that was huge disappointing. We just stopped at Starbucks and got the biggest drinks in the world. You've got the dragon fruit and mango, I've got the pineapple passion fruit, and we just got one of these little vanilla bean scones each as well. Just show you these. Um, we're quite hungry, any breakfast. We are going for lunch soon, um, so we just want to say very small, and these are tiny, so little vanilla bean scone each drink, and then we'll be getting our Uber or Lyft across to Universal Resort to meet up with the others, so yeah, a little pit stop. How is that? Needed. Is it nice and calling? Yes. Yeah. yeah.
Okay, so we've been for lunch with Karen, Patrick, Jen, and Sean at uh, Universal. We made our way to public supermarket, so we're gonna go in here, grab some stuff, head back to Animal Kingdom Lodge, and then we'll tell you all about lunch. It was nice there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, David's gonna take us around the supermarket now, so uh, I dread to imagine what we're gonna come out with. We don't even do this at home, do we? A little adventure. This isn't a little adventure for us in the market. We, we get it delivered mostly. We, we, we do pop and get the odd bit, but mostly we get our food delivered, don't we? Right, here we are. So we've been to Publix, we've made it back alive to Animal Kingdom Lodge. We were going to go to Magic Kingdom, and we still might, but at the moment we're dealing with this. And it really is pouring down. I'm going to pull the camera back because it's getting soaked. But yeah, so we're dealing with this at the moment. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of packing, chill out for a little while. If this clears up, we're gonna head to Magic Kingdom for the fireworks tonight. If it doesn't, we may just order some takeout and have a night in. So for now, we're just gonna play it by ear, see what this weather does, uh, and I'll check back in with you very shortly. But today could be a very short vlog if we don't actually get out um, back to Magic Kingdom for tonight. Okay, so today did not go to plan at all. We were supposed to go to Universal and Islands of Adventure today, but we chose not to do that based on our experience there on Monday. Um, so we went to the Vineland Premium Outlet to do some shopping. That wasn't a huge success either. We then met some friends for lunch over at Sapphire Falls Resort at Universal. That was amazing, so we'll tell you about that in a second. Um, and then we were supposed to go to the Magic Kingdom tonight, but it actually poured down with rain for hours and neither of us particularly wanted to get wet. We've both kind of got a little bit of a cold. I've lost my voice a little bit and we just thought that going and getting wet again probably wouldn't help either of us. So, so we've done a bit of packing as well. We ordered uh, takeout food from Uber Eats. Uh, so we've not been anywhere really for hours. Um, but we are now ready for our resort move tomorrow. Um, hopefully we'll feel better for this in the morning. Um, but the problem we've got now is today's vlog, I haven't really been able to show you very much. We haven't done very much. So I'm going to um, combine two days uh, in this vlog. So this is going to be day 10 and day 11. So this one will continue on. Uh, and hopefully we'll have more to show you tomorrow. Uh, in terms of today, David, what did you think of Vineland Premium Outlets? I think it depends what you're looking for. I mean, I guess I, neither of us really needed anything from there today. So it was just sort of browsing and like there's lots of good labels there. Um, lots of good high street and high end luxury labels, but... Um, in terms of things like Ralph Lauren, we the prices were just sort of the same as the UK, full price stuff. Overall, super disappointed with Vineland. Um, I probably wouldn't rush back there if I'm being honest with you, it wasn't great. So we made our way in an Uber to Sapphire Falls Resort at Universal, where we met up with our friends Karen and Patrick from Universal. Orlando adults only. I've known them for near on five years, but never actually met them in person. So they're both from Ireland. It was so great to meet them. Also there was Jen and Sean, their friends, uh, who also work on that Facebook group as well. It was great to meet both of them as well. Such lovely people. We had a really nice lunch at Amatista Cookhouse. The restaurant itself was nice. Um, very nice big space. Um, the menu was a little limited for lunch, but um, I really wanted to try the uh, passion fruit um, chicken sandwich. It was a kind of passion fruit barbecue sauce um, with a nice chicken sandwich. Came with some fries or chips as we call them. Service was good. The company was really great. Um, yeah, nothing bad to say at all. It was a nice restaurant. I would go back there again. It was nothing kind of really remarkable for lunch, um, but I would love to try the breakfast options there. Apparently breakfast seems to be amazing. Yeah, it was good. The restaurant was 
um, nice setting and atmosphere and everything and yeah the food was was okay wasn't it what would you give it out of 10 uh, 8 the chips were re- actually no to be fair they did have really good chips do you have an 8 yeah an 8 I think I would give it an 8 as well for lunch it was really good really enjoyed what I had um, Karen and Patrick so so sweet they treated us to lunch um, and they got us a car for our engagement as well um, which was really kind of them so thank you guys really appreciated it and absolutely loved meeting the four of you um, we must do it again it was so much fun tomorrow we're going to go to Animal Kingdom in the morning um, we're going to hang out there do the attractions we haven't done see a couple of shows uh, we've got Yak and Yeti booked for lunch which I'm really excited about one of my favourite table service restaurants um, then we're going to check in at the Grand Floridian, check out our room, we'll give you a little room tour. And then we've got dinner booked for California Grill tomorrow night, so that's also one of my favourite restaurants. It's one you're looking forward to, isn't it, California Grill? Yeah, chance to dress up a little bit as well. As I said a little while ago, I'm going to combine today with tomorrow's vlog, so we'll sign off now. Welcome to Animal Kingdom Lodge on our last morning here. We're about to check out, hand our bags in down at Bell Services. Uh, we're going to head across to Animal Kingdom uh, for this morning. We're checking to Grand Floridian later this afternoon. So it's a really, really exciting day for us. Uh, as you can hear, my voice is back a little bit. It's not as great as it was. We're both feeling a little bit better though for our night of rest. Uh, and as I said to you last night, this is a combined vlog. This is day 10 and day 11. So uh, I'm starting it off with a welcome. Or really, it's just a continuation. Anyway, join us today as we have another day of adventures. And here we are arriving for another day at the Animal Kingdom. Are you excited? Oh, you could tell your face. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> I wonder how much it costs to enter Animal Kingdom for a day. This here we can see as we go past. Let's try and see a price. So a one-day ticket here would be $109 for the day. Wow, you didn't even see it, would you? Well, you didn't. If she was in your thing. Oh, you guys want to go do bug flies? Yeah, I'm going to
We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Tell the Roman Ross to be complete. So we've arrived at Animal Kingdom. We met Lady Divine on our way in, didn't we? Yeah, we did. did. did well, we her? nearly missed her. Well, you nearly missed her. I knew what I was looking for. She's very cool. Then we saw the McCaw show. Um, I miss that every single time I come. I see it in other people's vlogs. I see it uh, in Disney official Animal Kingdom videos, but I've never actually caught it myself. So that was really great to see. Love seeing them all come flying in. That was really cool, wasn't it? Yeah, they're cute. Uh, and then we headed straight across to Dino Land to ride Dinosaur. It's been down pretty much every time we bought the Genie Plus for it, hasn't it? But this morning it had a five minute wait. It was literally a walk on. We didn't start walking until we got in the ride vehicle practically apart from the pre-show. Uh, what did you think of Dinosaur? It's very rough. Don't do it if you've just had breakfast. Dinosaur, uh, obviously at D23, the other day they announced that Dino Land may be replaced in the future. That isn't going to happen overnight, but by the time we come back next year, it potentially could be closed. That could be your only time to ride Dinosaur. So uh, that's good that you've got that in because it might not be here the next time we come. It might be extinct. Extinct. <laughs> extinct. Uh, we've got a Genie Plus now for Kilimanjaro Safari. So we're going to do that now. Come and join us on the Savannah. Is that it? The current wait for Kilimanjaro Safari is 55 minutes. Good job, we've got a lightning lane. It's real thick. It feels like crushed velvet, oh, but cool. they're covered in oil because they live in a rainforest. So when you're done petting them, your hands are covered oh, in a brown oil. Oily. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't go near that.
Why is that there? Um, Itching Perrin, no, hang on a second. It's what? Hang on. <clears throat> Kirin Ichiban. Kirin Ichiban? Kirin Ichiban. So I have got the tropical daiquiri, the pina colada. It comes in four different flavours, but I've gone for the pina colada. I love that coconut, pineapple combination anyway, so let's try it. I like the glass. Mm. It's a little bit um, slushy actually, it's like very, it's like a little bit icy texture. It's so good, it's really creamy and you can really taste the rum as well. I really love this. This might be one of many. Try your first firecracker shrimp. Tell me what you think. Spicy? No. Nah. No. Why? Was it really spicy when you had it? Yeah. Our stir fries at home are hotter, I think. Oh. Try yours, I don't know. It's nice though. I've got a big bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, coconut rum, crystal rum, uh, banana liqueur, and tropical juices. Here it goes. Oh, that's really nice. Really fruity. Let's try that, baby. It's really good. And just one more time, what's it called? A big bamboo. Do you have some? Yeah. Coming in, tuck in, tell me what you think. Don't take a whole mouthful because there'll be none left of me. Very nice. It's what? Very nice. What does it taste of? Syrup. And? Syrup. Billionaire thrill seeker Scrooge McDuck and his loyal pilot companion Launchpad McQuack have successfully circumnavigated the entire Discovery River. Who's this? Think... He's not a little fin. We call it his lucky fin. Yeah. Grab on if he gets tired. Just give him a break. 10, 15 minutes. He'll be all right. Let's go, explorers. Hold on tight. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Really ready. I don't think I'm ready. We're ready to go. May I help you? <laughs> there is something wrong with you, really. You're wasting my time. I have to find my son. Oh, Chico? Nemo. Ooh. Hello. Okay, we're having a great last day here at Animal Kingdom. We started off this morning with Dinosaur, then we went across and did Kilimanjaro Safari again. After that, we went and explored the Gorilla Falls Trail. Yeah? Yeah. Then we went up to Rafiki section, Planet Watch, to the affection section, had a look around there. That was quite interesting, wasn't it? Saw some goats. Saw some goats. I haven't been up there for such a long time, probably about 20 years. When it first opened, I don't think I've been up there since then. 
We didn't do the animation experience, neither of us are particularly interested in that, but we did see other people doing it. So it's good to see them doing their kind of drawing talents, wasn't it? Yeah. But after that, we had lunch at Yak and Yeti, which is one of my favorite table service restaurants. That didn't, oh, Kite Tales is about to launch by the sounds of it. Um, that didn't disappoint. Um, sadly for you guys, I had my staples. I had the wok fried green beans, the firecracker shrimp, um and you had the i had the egg rolls or spring rolls and then the firecracker shrimp as well because you said that it was good so did you like it yeah it was all really nice yeah the firecracker shrimp was really great i love the green beans had a couple of cocktails in there as well that were really good we had the pineapple upside down cake which i loved there as well we shared that uh that was nice wasn't it really kind of sticky uh, caramel, pineapple, caramelized pineapple, lovely soft cake, yeah, really, really good. Anyway, you can get out of 10, what would you score it? Seven. Seven? Yeah. I'm gonna go an eight, I liked it a little bit more. I think if you'd have had an entree in there, David, you might like it a little bit more, but we only yeah, went for lunch. Probably. We've got California Grill tonight, so we didn't want to fill ourselves up too much. So we had um, two small plates each. We did share the egg rolls and the green beans. I tried the egg rolls as well. They were very heavy. I'm not sure that anyone could eat three of those. They were massive. It's a unique dining experience. The restaurant is really themed well. And the food was really tasty. So I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. Um, so that was really great. We saw Kite Tales earlier on. Kite Tales is running again now. Obviously that's finishing at the end of this month. So. Uh, I'm glad we got to see it. It's a bit a bit rubbish, isn't it? But I'm glad we got to see yeah, it. It's a bit. And then we just went off to watch the Finding Nemo musical. Um, oh my god. I I previously hated it and said I'd never go back. It was 40 minutes long. And I heard it was shorter and had been updated, so we gave it another try. And I have to say that um, I won't be trying it again anytime soon. Very talented performers, um, but not really my kind of show. Obviously your first time, what did you think? Like, the costumes were cool, like I get what they were trying to do, but nah. Was it a hit, was it a hit or miss? Miss. A miss? It's probably, look, it's probably good fun if you're five. At uh, 45 and 32, we weren't so impressed, so. Uh. Where are we going now? Maharaja Trail now. Yeah, we're going to see some tiggers. Some tiggers? Some tiggers. Yeah, we're going to go to the Majahara Jungle. Ma, ma, I can't even Maharaja. say it. Maharaja. Maharaja Jungle Trail now. So we'll take you along and then we're going to go across the Grand Floridian ready for check in. If our room's ready. So we've just checked in at the Grand Floridian, we're just making our way to find our room. It's not the room I asked for on touring plans, but let's hope it's got a nice view. Let's have a little look. 
looks really nice, doesn't it? Let's be down here. It's all very fancy, very, very nice indeed. Ready? In we go. Room 9146 in the building is a big pine key. Oh, this looks very, very modern and fancy. Yeah, lovely. We do a little Let's room put the lights on. We do a room tour. Yeah. Come on then, let's do our room oh, tour. Oh, we've got water outside. That's quite nice, isn't it? What's in this box here? Pandora's box. Oh, a hair dryer. A hair dryer in a box. We've got really, really beautiful wallpaper here above this desk and this circular mirror. There's a little bench under here as well. Can you pull the little bench out, David? I know you're excited to get, carry on. Let's have a look at the little bench. Nice oh, little bench. I think Let's that's sit there and get ready. I think that's wide enough for you, isn't it? Yes, thank you. Okay, show us what else there is to see. Okay, so we've got the bench there, adjoining room. Yeah, is that Might locked? be needing that. Well, yeah, I hope so. Okay, then what Nice about? units, this marble effect unit's nice, isn't is it? Is it actually marble or is it just marble effect? I don't know, it might Not be sure. marble. Nice TV with... That TV looks like it's framed because it's got that border around, doesn't it? Looks quite small. I think you can probably move it. Yeah. Because it's not in the middle, look. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, I don't know, I don't want to break it. Yeah, don't break it. Have a look in the drawers. Oh wow, look at the lamps. Oh, massive drawers. Huge drawers. Yeah. Very nice. Next up. Sofa, must be a sofa bed because they've left the thing down. Oh, no, I don't think it would be a sofa bed. I think Maybe it is. I think this room sleeps five, I think. Yeah. Up to five. This looks. Have points down there. This looks a little bit kind of cherry tree lane esque, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, and there's actually Mary Poppins in this one. You can actually see her um, with her brooms, with her, not her brooms, with her umbrella and her, <laughs> and her <laughs> carpet bag. Lovely little. Tables by the side there, couple points underneath. Sockets under there and a USB. These little lamps are quite sweet as well, aren't they? Look, oh, they're very pretty. Look at that. Little reading lamps on the bed. Yeah. Nice headboard. This is very, very nice. I like how they've done this up. This is a nice lamp. Yeah, that is very nice. That's got um, little umbrellas on it as well, look. Yeah. More little subtle Mary Poppins touches. The telephone remote, what's in these drawers? Anything? No. Oh, nothing in that one. Nothing in there. That's very nice. This all looks very new, doesn't it? It's all just been done. Yeah. Just been done. Uh, up here, this light up here, these are like little birds. Uh, the little glass birds that are yeah. also Mary Poppins touches. Very, very sweet. Is that a penguin that one there? Or is it a bird? I think they're all just birds. No, come and look at this one here. It actually looks like a penguin. One of them is a penguin, I'm sure. Oh yeah, one of them is. Yeah, they're all birds. And it's got just, just got one penguin. One penguin. <laughs> little bit <laughs> random. Oh, the wardrobes are very nice as well. Floor to ceiling. Safe. Safe there. And iron. Very nice. Shelves in that one. In this one. Oh, and we've got our bathrobes. Bathrobes, they'll come in handy. We didn't get those at the other hotels, did we? No. Suitcase rack. Very, very nice. And then what have we got that's here? Sorry, that's not anything. Micro Wave. Micro Wave. Very nice. Coffee machine. Have we got any, been given any coffee? In here. Oh, oh wow, look at that. Oh, that's a nice selection. I've got a coffee. We didn't machine. need our one. 
corkscrew it's very good is this a little fridge under here maybe yeah yeah that's the wine fridge wine <laughs> nothing in it little wine fridge little wine fridge we've got temperature control here on the wall oh sorry wrong one. and then in here we have the bathroom wow and look mirror. at that mirror wow that's really really grand isn't it oh, there's going to be a selfie happening in there later very pretty i like the taps as well they're very classy this thing here is lovely marble tissue box to match the work surfaces lots of tails 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 <laughs> Uh, we've got some H2O products over here and here uh, and then we've got another Mary Poppins themed piece of artwork on the wall which is very nice. We've got the same kind of shower that we had in um, Yacht Club. Is this a sliding door? Yeah. Oh. A little soft clothes latch. A little soft clothes. Oh, the toilet. And then, oh, another very small bath, not like what we had at Animal Kingdom Lodge. But I like the blue and the gold together, it looks very nice, doesn't it? Is it gold or is it brass? Brass, brass. brass. Isn't it? Yeah, it's very, very nice. Some more products down there. Very nice indeed. I'm really, really pleased with this. It's lovely. What do you think? Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, hang on, we haven't done the balcony yet. Oh, we haven't done the balcony. We haven't done the best bit yet. Let's go and have a look on the balcony, shall we? I suppose to have a theme park view. Have we got a theme park view? Oh, we have indeed. Look at that. We can see Space Mountain. Come on out, you go. Oh, you can actually see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's a very nice view. see the castle. We've got some Disney ducks coming to say hello. Hello, Disney ducks. Hello, Disney ducks. Oh, they're very cute, aren't they? They're coming to say hi. Welcoming, hello. welcoming us to our new home. So we can see Tron, we can see um, the railway station at the main entrance, we can see Space Mountain, and we can see the castle, we can see the taxi boats, and we can also see the monorail as well. Um, and then if we look in this direction over here, we can see the Polynesian and the bungalows. Wow, we've been very, very lucky with our views, haven't we, on this trip? What do you think? Yeah, it's lovely. Maybe better than Animal Kingdom. Oh, you've only just arrived. To be fair though, this is your home resort for DVC. Mm. Oh, they're off. They're very cute, aren't they? But yeah, what a great view. And that is our third and final room tour complete for this trip. Isn't it? Yeah. If you do have any questions at all about this room or resort, please pop them in the comments down below. We're always happy to try and help you. Oh my God, we're so lucky. Right, we need to go and get a drink, get our bags, and then get ready for dinner mm. at... Oh God. Um, dinner California at... Grill. California Grill. <laughs> he got there eventually, It's because we were here, I was about to go Citrico. He got there eventually. So we got dressed up in nice clothes, ready for California Grill. Looked outside the window and it was pouring with rain, thunder, lightning, you name it. We had to poncho up, make a dash from our uh, room at uh, Grand Floridian across the main lobby. And now we're waiting for a monorail, which appears to be traveling really, really slowly. Um, so we may be a bit late for our dinner at California Grill. David, what happened? Got caught in the rain. Hmm. Tell the story. What happened? It was down. So we had to go back to our room, get our lovely little ponchos that Mia's Connect gave to us. There's a little plug there for them. Um, and then sprint across the Grand Floridian onto the monorail. I nearly broke my ankle, didn't I? Dan nearly broke his ankle, slipping in the hallway. You saved me. Wouldn't have been a good look. No, no.
are now back at the Grand Floridian after our dinner at California Grill. And what a great night we've had all in all. It wasn't exactly as we planned it. The thunderstorm um, kind of delayed us a little bit, but we still got to the restaurant, didn't we? About, what would you say, about we five minutes time. late? We were seated um, by the window, but not not facing Magic Kingdom. So Magic Kingdom was kind of behind us. So we didn't get a view of the castle from our table. I don't think with the rain and everything tonight, I don't think you would have really seen it anyway. Yeah. To be honest. Um, and the, uh, the fireworks for Enchantment were first of all delayed. Then it started and stopped and was delayed again. And then it started again and people were going out on the um, kind of the viewing platform outside in the rain with napkins on their head um, to keep themselves dry and we kind of opted not to do that didn't we well yeah I mean they just looked ridiculous didn't they really from our table we could hear we could see some fireworks and that was kind of good enough for us tonight um, but yeah dinner at California Grill uh, the restaurant I would have said was my number one restaurant until this trip. There's a little bit of a hint for you. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was really nice. The, the lighting in there is beautiful. The ambiance is generally very good. Although tonight it was really, really loud. Um, and because of the fixed price menu, I think it's attracting... I don't want to sound snobby. But it's attracting people that wouldn't normally dine at California Grill. So there were quite raucous groups and parties of people in there tonight that you generally wouldn't have seen there. Yeah, it was much, much louder than my previous experiences there. Um, we couldn't even hear ourselves speak, could we, at some points? No, it was really, really loud. Yeah. Uh, and that's not been my experience on the kind of three, four, five times i've eaten there before so um the ambience was definitely different like we had a table of women behind us that were shrieking when we first arrived and i, I just wanted to say to them shut up we're in a signature restaurant um but they left quite quickly um, they were finishing their meal and they left so uh, that was quite lucky because they were driving me a bit mad sitting behind me shrieking away and screaming um that's not california grill or it wasn't California Grill. So um, it's changed. Uh, I think that's to do with the fixed price menu. When that goes after the 50th anniversary, I really hope it changes back to what it was before. God, I used to love that restaurant so much. I, I do still love it. I do still love it. If I had a blackberry sour, which was a vodka based cocktail with blackberries and house made lemonade, Oh my goodness, that was really, really delicious. It kind of had a little bit of sweetness to it, but um, an aftertaste of kind of sour. It had um, bits of, of fresh blackberry in it that you were sucking up the straw, uh, and you got those kind of every other mouthful. They were really nice as well. Um, and we had that with a bread course. It was house-made focaccia bread, and that came with a house-made butter, and also with an oil that had, I think he said it had walnut Walnuts in it. and I don't know what else. But yeah, it was really delicious. He did offer us more bread, but we didn't want to fill ourselves up too much. So we, um, yeah, the bread and my first drink was really good. What did you have for your first drink? I had what I had in Yak and Yeti, which if you're watching this vlog, just go back and see what that was because I can't remember what it was. I I Ichi, Ichi Kibani or something, something like that. It was a beer. It's a Japanese beer, so I just had that again because um, I knew it was nice. Yeah. Was it nice? <laughs> it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. Nice, nice. Very, very nice. And then what? Then we had the bread, didn't we? Yeah. What did you have for your appetizer? Then appetizer I had. Shall I pass you the menu to help you? Show us the menu. Oh, California Grill menu. Here's we, one I made earlier. We didn't steal this. Um, for the 50th anniversary, they give it to you as a souvenir to take away with you. So we didn't steal it. So the menu here at California Grill is $89 per person. 
um, plus gratuity plus tax and they also do two different wine pairings as well they do a signature wine pairing and a deluxe wine pairing so we went for the signature one that was a further $39 per person yeah. but come on what did you have for your appetizer you read it that way yeah if um, you try to read the other one I you're going to struggle braised beef short rib wontons braised Doing... beef short rib wontons Doen Jan, miso cola onion sauce, radish, crispy garlic chili oil, pickled lotus root. It was really nice. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Although uh, I tasted was, it. was amazing. I tasted it as well. It was really good. Um, I had the duck a l'orange pizza. You had house-made artisanal style duck a l'orange pizza, duck prosciutto and confit, Pickled shallots, orange black mission fig jam, aged blue cheese, arugula. Arugula or, arugula. or rocket as we call it. I think the, the, the first word to describe it was huge. It was absolutely massive. Like you could have had it as an entree rather than appetizer. I didn't eat all of it. Um, this little one helped me out and had a couple of slices. Um, so, well, I, I, I had one slice, and you had and you had a a bit of another slice as well. So I'm counting that as two slices. But yeah, it was really really nice. It was well cooked. So I had the oak fillet of beef. It came with some potatoes. It came with some asparagus and a cauliflower puree. And that beef was literally melting your mouth. Like every mouthful was just delicious. I, I literally cannot tell you how succulent and flavorful that fillet was it was really really awesome you had the oak fired fillet of beef yeah brown butter chateau potatoes son jacqueen valley asparagus golden raisins vinaigrette roasted tomato butter and what did you have? And that came with a nickel and nickel Bear Track Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon Napa Valley wine. Yeah, that was really good as well. And then I had the Florida Black Grouper, Herb Basmati Rice, Cashew Chutney, Bok Choy, Baby Shiitake, Green Curry Coconut, Nage. Nage? Nage. They must be pronounced nage or something, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, maybe. Nage. Well, I don't know. Green curry coconut nage. Yeah, maybe. I don't. I don't know. But, yeah. You like the grouper? Yeah. Have you had grouper before? Probably, but I can't remember like when or where. Or... It's not something we get in the UK, really, is it? Grouper? No. Like I don't see it on menus in the UK not so much. Really. Mainly when I come here, I see it's it. a big marine fish grouper. Right. And then for dessert, I had the lavender. Donuts. What were they? Lavender sugar donuts, coconut frozen dessert, blueberry gin jam, pistachio crumble. And that went with a verve clico brut rosé. Oh, you had rosé verve. Mm, it was really good. First of all, the verve was really nice champagne. I really enjoyed that. That was really great. Mm. Um, now, when the donuts came, I've had them before. I rated them my favourite dessert in the whole of Walt Disney World in one of Taylor's videos. So I was so excited to get them again. Um, but they were not the same as what I had before. So before they were freshly fried donuts. They were piping hot when they arrived on the plate. They were melting the sorbet because they were so hot. These ones came and they were cold and they were hard. And they were just not what I was expecting at all. So I asked the waiter, you know, are these supposed to be cold? And at first he told me that they were supposed to be cold. I was like, oh, okay then. And I kind of frowned a little bit because because the, they weren't nice. Um, if you can imagine kind of like a cold, hard donut when you've been expecting it really freshly cooked. Um, but anyway, he went off, I carried on eating them, and he came back with another bowl of them. Which I have to say, I think was really good that they did that. Because they could have, he could have just turned around and said to you, oh no, that's how they come, and left it. Yeah, yeah. So it, it was good, but even the ones he bought me back were still only just warm. They weren't piping hot like they used to be. Um, and they weren't light like they used to be. They were quite doughy and quite heavy. 
So, um, I was disappointed with the dessert. It was really sweet. They gave me a second one to try and resolve the issue. Mm. But it didn't really resolve it because it wasn't what I was expecting. And I, I guess things change. The menu has changed significantly since I last dined there. Um, but yeah, I was disappointed because I was expecting something else, something that I had there before. And that isn't what I got. The blueberry gin jam, though, was amazing. The coconut uh, milk ice cream was really great. Um, but just the donuts were... A bit of a letdown, really. I did a dessert tonight. Well, yeah, but not really. It's just cheeses. I did a dessert. Tell us, what did you um, have? I just had the selection of cheeses. The uh, Californian cheeses. Handcrafted triple cream cheese. The goat's milk cheese. And the um, rustic style blue cheese. I was a bit underwhelmed. With the cheese. Really, with the cheese ball, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't great, but it was presented nicely and and all of that. So, and what drink did you get with that? Uh, it was a port. A port. It was a port. You've gone very Essex on us now. So it was a Fonseca Porto, twenty year old tawny from Portugal. Was that nice? Yeah. Yeah. So dinner at California Grill was good. $89 for the set menu, $39 for the wine pairing. I think my cocktail was about $15. I think your beer was about $9. Yeah, $9.25. Um, so all in all, I think our bill came to... Do you remember how much? Was it about $280? $280 before tip. Um, so yeah, it was, wasn't was a cheap meal. But I really enjoyed it. Um, I'd give California Grill on this occasion a 9 out of 10. It wasn't 100% where it needed to be in terms of ambiance for me. And that dessert was a bit of a letdown. So I'm going to go with a 9. And I think that's a generous 9 as well. It, it's probably more 8.5 really. But I'm going to give it a 9. Just for old time's sake. Because I love it so much. Uh, which means that Citrico's scored higher from me so what did you give Citricos? 10 out of 10 mm. 10 out of 10 for Citricos. the ambiance there was amazing uh, it was a completely different experience it was so relaxed and peaceful and tranquil and civilised tonight didn't feel civilised dining did it it felt no. rowdy and raucous yeah, yeah I think I'd give um California Grill a seven, I think. Why? Um, what you said about the atmosphere, it was so loud and so rowdy and it didn't feel very civilized or elegant. It's meant to be a signature fine dining restaurant. We got the fine dining, but not the signature feel. Yeah, the food was nice. The food was okay. Again, just certain things I feel let them down. Like the cheese board was a bit disappointing, I guess. Yeah, so just based on ambience and sort of the dessert that I had and stuff is basically why I'd give it a 7 out of 10. All in all, quite an eventful day. We did lots and lots of Animal Kingdom. We're not going back to Animal Kingdom now on this trip. That was our last day there, so we had to say goodbye to the Tree of Life, which was really sad. This is our first night that either of us would have stayed at this resort, so it's really exciting. We love it here, don't we? Um, we've already come across one downfall to this resort, though, uh, and that is being in outer buildings. When it's pouring with rain to get to the lobby, to get the monorail, or to get any kind of transportation, you have to basically run through the rain. Anyway, we're gonna to go to sleep very shortly. We've had quite a busy day today. I'm quite tired and tomorrow we've got a very early start. We're doing the Keys to the Kingdom tour. I know we're not allowed to film backstage so we won't be able to take you along for much of that. But we'll certainly tell you all about it afterwards. And tomorrow night we're going to the Boat House for dinner at Disney Springs. So we'll be doing a bit of shopping down there as well. So Magic Kingdom tomorrow, Keys to the Kingdom and the boathouse so make sure you do not miss that vlog when it comes out next week it's going to be brilliant 
Anyway, we are super, super tired after a really, really packed day. So if you've liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends as well. If you like our channel, please ensure you're subscribed with that little notification bell clicked so you know when our videos come out. And as always, remember, never grow up.